Alright guys, so we're getting started with game two, uh, match two of week one, RLCS uh, NA. Uh, against, we got a splice versus Cloud9 game here. Um, we're going to kind of go over what we see uh, that could have been done differently uh, for Splice to maybe take this instead and see what C9 did as well. Obviously, right off the bat, we see a double commit. Um, Karma right here tries to play it up to Nose Dude. Nose Dude just a little slow, understands he can't get to it, backflips, uh, kind of takes himself out of the play, which is good. Uh, good recovery right there, basically. Um, but we, some reason, have Squishy and Gimmick both going up for the same ball. Um, let's check this out real quick. And this is game two, by the way. Uh, game one did not come up on the replay files for me to download. Um, some reason they didn't put it on the Splice vs. Cloud9 gameplay. So let's check out uh, Gimmick's point of view and see why he went for this ball. Um, so this actually does look like it's kind of Gimmick's ball. Uh, Squishy comes across here. He knows Gimmick's on that corner side. So there's no reason Squishy goes up for this ball unless there's some kind of communication. Uh, that'll be the call throughout all this. This is all without communication. We aren't hearing the comms, basically. So we're not going to know every time uh, who should have probably went for the ball. But we're going to be able to take a good prediction based on uh, positioning. And right here, this is definitely gimmick's ball. I'm not sure why Squishy goes up for this ball unless it's communication, like I said. Um, but instead, gimmick missed. So maybe he called low, low boost and, and made uh, Squishy go for it. Could have always been a thing. Gimmick right here makes a mistake that a lot of people make in lower levels, but I'm surprised to see this in uh, at this level. He flips toward the uh, full boost over here, missing the little boost pad. So he turns around, he has zero boost. This was a very useless flip back. Um, he ends up getting one 12 booster, uh, and therefore he gets a really rough kind of hit, just passes it over to him, leaves them possession of the ball. Now Gimmick comes across here. This is a good come across. He needs to hit this ball. Uh, some reason he's going to hit this in the nose dude almost it looks like he kind of puts it away from him looks like it went well for him uh, he's got a challenge good challenge uh, he tries to get out of there right away a little rough flip but let's uh, take a look at who's got the ball now I believe it is um, well we can see everything from Squishy's point of view here in the back so we'll see what he's doing um, he kind of plays it middle just kind of waits for a patient touch um, really just kind of knocks that down he's going up for a pass here couldn't get to that ball uh, it goes up for another one, passes it off the... That's actually a very good pass. This could be a good follow. I want to see where everyone's at on the field right here. Gimmick's all the way in the back. Uh, he's still recovering from something. Um, Torment... What is Torment doing here? He kind of looks really off with this jump. I want to see what he's... So, yeah, he, he's got an okay hit. Um, I don't know if he just didn't have enough boost to do what he wanted. Uh, right there, did he just use... So I feel like he just used 14 boosts for nothing here. Yeah, so that, that boost actually wasn't even up. Um, that's just a glitch, by the way. So yeah, he used 14 boost uh, to get nowhere. And then he jumps and then runs out of boost. And I I can't help but think if he had that extra 14 boost, he would have you know beat Jay with the ball, maybe put it up against the backboard instead of passing back, uh, making kind of a useless hit. Karma gets a great block. Uh, we have a good dunk by Nose Dude. This is a great touch by Torment to put it middle. Uh, good stop by Karma, putting it out middle, trying to get a pass to Nose Dude. Nose Dude kind of gives it a whiff. We got Gimmick up. We got uh, a pass back down and couldn't connect with it. He's heading back now. We got good rotation right there. I want to see, looking at Squishy, let's see what he does right because he actually gets up to this ball way faster than anybody else. Um... So right there, I think this is another mistake that happens at all ranks, um, it looks like. Uh, when you're kind of getting, you know, you're, when you're getting played to your level, you start making kind of silly mistakes. And this was honestly a pretty big mistake because he kind of puts this ball out to the middle. Um, his best bet would probably, I, I mean, he sees Nose Dude there. He sees Karma below. Um, he really could have just banged this off the wall. Um, and it would still get to probably Nose Dude bang this off the right wall. Or he could have put it behind Nose Dude. Um, but this touch middle was really kind of dangerous. Jay was as an easy pass up to either Karma or Nose Dude from here. Um, and I want to see what happens. And like I said, a good pass to Karma there. Karma tries to play it off the uh, off the pass to a shot. Couldn't really make a great connection with the shot. Uh, Nose Dude's not going to be able to go up. And he gets a great block there. Torment's on the back wall. 
we got Jaywiz kind of faking for it, and he comes up for a... Uh, Should have probably got a touch there. Not a big deal. Um, and now we're chasing down this ball. So I want to see what just happened in the backfield. Let's see who got that bump. Because there was a bump back here that happened. Um, we are on the wrong side of the field. I think it was Torment, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Torment, I believe. Let's take a look at what Torment does here. So he kind of just puts himself in the way of Karma going full boost. Uh, kind of a suicide mission right there by going in front of her. So recognizing that is always a good thing to do. Uh, recognizing just when somebody's kind of just going back and not getting in their way because they will just, you know, take a second to demo you. It's not out of their way or anything. So, you know, don't get in somebody's way. Don't make it easy for them to get that demo on you. Um, so right here, trying to rotate back wall or back post. You get a bump, a uh, pretty good bump. And that's a shot. So let's see what happens here. Uh, this definitely looked like it broke down a little bit. We are on Jay Wiz's point of view here. So we haven't been on his yet, I don't believe. Uh, he comes back to rotate. He gets, yeah, that's that's kind of a rough bump uh, by gimmick for Jay Wiz. And that's unblockable. And that's, so let's, I, I'm kind of curious where Karma went here because she was out of the play for quite some time, it seemed like. Okay, so. For some reason, it seems like she took a long route. Let's see. Okay, so she just didn't challenge the ball there, which is very questionable, I feel like. Um, this is definitely a ball she could have jumped up and actually put a, put a touch on that. I don't know if she was just trying to play it safe and not get a 50 out to the middle because he probably had a little bit more control. But from here, I really don't think she should be going all the way around to this uh, boost. I know it's... It's looking juicy. It's a big, big, big boost pad. Uh, but she kind of goes all the way back here to get that big boost and leaves her team alone after the non-challenge. So she kind of left a lot of pressure off her team there. She went to a big boost pad um, across the field kind of instead of just rotating back and collecting some small bads. Um, and that's going to relieve a lot of, you know, defensive pressure by them uh, and... You know, that's not what you want to do against the uh, defending world champs. So, we'll see what happens now. We got Karma on the kickoff. Um, nothing yet. So, Karma's actually coming back toward the ball here. I don't know what she can do differently. I'm going to see. So, I think she's kind of worried about Torment kind of sneaking up on the nose dude's hit. And they have gimmick there for the block as well if he puts it, nose dude puts it up. So I think she's just trying to sneak over here and make sure everything's okay. Uh, so it might have been okay to do there. See, I'm not sure she should have taken this boost 100 again. So she has 90, 81, and she picks up another 100. I guess Squishy probably would have taken it, so uh, heads up play probably there. Um, puts it up to herself. Uh, it's, the ball's just kind of getting tossed around right now. Everyone's kind of rotating, and it's just... Okay, now we got something. Uh, nose dude actually has a great touch. Karma kind of throws herself at this ball, and I honestly don't see a reason to jump at this ball. Uh, you have one boost. The odds are, I mean, Squishy's one of the most consistent players in the game. I don't really think he's going to miss this back wall clear. Uh, you're not going to get a stuff here. There's no chance. Um, I mean, he has to put this thing down and out, which he puts that thing way, way to the side and kind of a little higher. So really not a great challenge. Puts herself out of the play for a while. Uh, gets a really good demo, though. And Jay Wiz might be able to pass that. And that that's actually a great passing play. Great play by Torment, though, on defense here. Um, so right here, he, Jay Wiz could have passed it back to Nose Dude, possibly. But this was probably his best play, and Torment made a hell of a save. Um, as if he would have shot there, Squishy would have been back in time. He was back to post. So that was probably the play, and Torment made a great play there to save that. Um, I think, did he, she just take a lot of boost? Let's see. I thought she just went from 100 to 100. But no, she had 32, so that's, that's a fine boost grab. Uh, she's kind of cheating up here, seeing what's going on. Now, she's going to leave this, and let's see who go to j -Wiz. I believe j -Wiz will be over here. Uh, he only has 15 boost, um, but he's going to pass this up to Nose Dude. Nose Dude's going to try to turn on it. He's a little slow to that ball. Uh, it's a good hit. j -Wiz goes back to get some boost. Looks like it's a misread there, and Nose Dude's going to be able to put that one up. This... I don't know if they... They double committed and got pretty lucky here. I, I couldn't see Karma's screen from here. This is definitely a communication uh, by Karma, I believe, that's saying, I'm up, I got it, I got it. 
and Jay was kind of lets that one go. At first, I was going to say, Jay was this is a terrible shot. I remember that they did actually score that one, and that was Karma coming in with the uh, the good shot. Um, and this is a good play to yourself here. And she got fake past one, almost got the the uh, 50 for the second. Uh, she comes back. So right here, this is dangerous. Um, I want to see this how this happened again. We got... Who is that in the back? We got Squishy in the back. Jay always kind of comes up for a challenge. I want to see how he came about this challenge. It doesn't seem like he kind of went fast as fast as he probably could here. So he did get a hit. Okay, he has one boost. No, he actually played that pretty well. He just didn't get a great 50 on it. Um, Karma gets a good touch off to the side. Nose dude hits it up. And let's see if he's got... Yeah, he's got another great touch there at the end. Um, Jay always could have maybe cheated up on that a little bit. I don't know if he was trusting of it. And right here, Jay is cheating up a little close to Karma. Uh, a little too close for my liking, at least. Uh, as he only has 27 boosts, he doesn't have a great way to get all the way back. I want to see where Nose God is right now uh, to see if this is... Okay, so he's playing really far back with 91, so they have a little bit of safety net. But uh, Jay was is playing a little bit up uh, Karma's butt here, so let's see what happens. Uh, it kind of worked out a little bit there. He didn't do much with it as the ball kind of you know stuck to him because he was so close. Uh, that's a great 50 there from Jay Wiz. Winning 50 after 50, it kind of seems like, uh, besides the middle one earlier. But uh, so far, so uh, so good. Uh, with one to Okay, so right here is a miscommunication, obviously. So it's 1-1, 122 left. We've got a good game going on. Uh, knows God hits a great hit. Uh, Karma tries to follow this, and I'm not sure she should have. She knows Nose Dude's going to come across on this touch. Um, so she goes ball side kind of here. I... I'm not sure why she doesn't go back post. Uh, she's trying to keep pressure. Maybe she doesn't think uh, Nose Dude has the uh, boost for it, but that just causes a double commit, and now Jay Wiz is stuck on the back wall, I believe, alone. Um, yeah, with the challenge, so that kind of puts it middle. Could have been a rough play. Could have been a rough situation, but we get a good touch out by, I believe that was Karma. Uh, squishy off the back wall. Now Jay Wiz has a... I guess that was all of his boost. Um, let's take a look here because he actually had a great read here. I felt like he could have done more, but there's really not much to do. Nose dude is actually coming back. I feel like nose dude could have either cut up, but let's see where karma is on the field real quick. So I think somebody should have been up when no, uh, Jay was there. Uh, I, I think there should be a little bit more pressure um, on this situation. I think either nose dude needs to turn or karma needs to be up a little bit farther. I know this is a risky play, but he has this read, and I think everybody on the field is going to know he has this read. I mean, Squishy puts it out, and he's the first one up by a mile. I think Nose Dude turns around right here right away when he sees Karma still heading back. Or not back, but she's you know she's pretty far back to where this would be fine for Nose Dude to turn around. Uh, just a little bit more pressure. I feel like they could have won this game so easily if they just they used a little bit more of their pressure. So he's heading back now. As Nose Dude gets a... Decent clear. Uh, nobody's there on either team, which is good for the offense. Uh, not much boost, but he gets a you know just a hit. I don't think there was much to be done there. Didn't have a team to hit too, so uh, really rough uh, goal here. I want to take another look at this. See if Jay was going to play this differently. This is this is a really hard decision um, for Jay. Was I want to see where. His team is on the field. So Karma's right there. Nose Dude's still heading back. He actually has about no... Struggling to get the J-Wiz again. Come on now. There we go. Kind of came off the of player view on me there. Alright, so we are on J-Wiz. And I want to see this play again. Because this was a big a big goal, obviously. Uh, so right here, he just he got up a little slow. And that's just unlucky that karma owned gold that it actually was probably coming out it looks like um as jay was kind of forced him to put it high by jumping low and making him go high it looks like i think that was popping out nose god probably could have went up and got that save uh unfortunate own goal by karma i don't really know if she could have done much about it now we got 49 seconds or 43 seconds uh it's two to one cloud nine's up and we got a good kickoff here. Good kickoff start for sure. Uh, rough touch. It's a good pass. Okay, now I, I really, really want to see why we weren't there earlier. I think that was a karma 
a karma situation on the cheating up. I mean, you're down one. You got 40 or 37 seconds left to score, right? And this is a great opportunity. I think you need to be cheating up on this a lot more than she was. So Jay Wiz puts a great touch up there. I think Karma should be honestly a little bit closer. Let's just watch this whole thing here. So Gimmick puts it against the wall right here. You know Jay Wiz is beating that. You know you've got to know he's beating that ball. So you got to be pushing that right now. For some reason she circles all the way over here, um, which is just losing a lot of time. And if she would have went straight for that touch, I think she would have beat Squishy to, or Torment to that ball. And I think that could have been the two to two. Um, obviously it's not going to come down to that play. Is the reasoning. Uh, to why they lost this game. I'm just throwing out some possibilities that could have happened if uh, they played it differently. Um, that's a great pass by Jay Wiz. A little bit, actually, you know what? That was a little bit um, kind of up front to the middle. If you would have passed it a little bit more uh, back to her, that might have been okay because Gimmick probably wouldn't have been able to get to it. Unfortunately, uh, kind of threw it in the middle of the field, but you kind of got to go for things at this point. Uh, you have 10 seconds left to score a goal. It's a good touch by Torment, and Gimmick's got a good touch there. Now this is a chance to score. And that's just, honestly, that's a great play by Jay Wiz not to shoot this ball. I think that's a that's a huge heads-up play that everyone needs to recognize. I mean, he could easily go for a boom here. He has, you know, two seconds on the clock. This is, or three seconds on the clock. This is a rough situation. I mean, he can put that top right, or he can go for a pass, and Torment can predict the pass. Um... But he puts it right at Nose Dude, and Nose Dude gets a great pop to put that in. That was a lot of trust coming out from Jay Wiz. And if Splice plays with this much trust that they played with this series, I I have no doubt that they'll win a lot more games this season. Um, I'm just I really want to see it against NRG on uh, week two. I want to see this kind of trust uh, as their communication has been on point as well. They've only had like maybe two or three double commits at most, uh, which really is not that bad. As some of the, or most of the double commits, they were called off. They were just already committed. Um, now that could have been an opportunity, possibly. Uh, I want to go back. So we are on Jay Wiz. This is a great pass by Nose Dude. A great clear. Jay Wiz could have probably got a better touch here. I don't know if he knew anybody was net or not, um, but it really didn't matter. Torment had that whole, the whole goal post covered, and he didn't probably have enough boost to actually get a double touch on that. So really, it was just a great clear. Uh, Nose God should be able to, looks like Karma kind of took that one. So I want to see what Karma and Nose Dude seem to be running into each other a little bit. A little bit too much, maybe, uh, compared to like, I feel like Jay was just kind of playing, um, not on his own, but he's just kind of, he's spread out, I guess, from Karma and Nose Dude. So right here, you can see that Karma's coming back to the ball. I feel like she's got to be able to see Nose Dude here, unless she has ball cam off. So she does have ball cam off. I want to see how long she has it. So yeah, she has, I mean, ball cam on. I Sorry, excuse me. He is, she has ball cam on this entire time uh, back. Uh, she either needs to be calling that out that she's taking or she needs to you know flip on and off ball cam for sure either way because she needs to see what her teammates are doing, where they're going, where they're positioning, and a little bit more awareness on this play. So Nose Dude is kind of already committed. He has to back up, which is kind of a waste of time. Uh, not a huge deal. Ended up being okay. But just a couple little things like that can you know change the game a little bit can change the game around a little bit. Um, as Nose Dude kind of rotates to mid post here, which is kind of interesting because everyone always talks, you know, you rotate back post and you go you go middle post after that, maybe if you're needed uh, at mid post. Uh, Nose Dude kind of goes mid to front post, so interesting that we've kind of like, I think Flump tweeted about that actually, about this week one, how, you know, that's happening a lot more is where people, are, the pro players are actually kind of rotating mid post instead of the back post um, or even front post. So... I think they're just getting so good defensively that they're able to, you know, do their thing on the front post as well as the back post. Now, that was a great play. I don't know if we could have had a follow. Jay was actually had it. I want to see how this happened, how we went about this. So, he actually plays it up to himself here. This is a perfect opportunity for him. Uh, he plays it past, well, Squishy actually didn't challenge that ball. I don't know if he thought he was alone or what. Squishy definitely should have challenged that ball. Uh, he had somebody behind him. There's no reason he shouldn't have challenged that ball. Jay was puts a great, great hit across the net. Karma's just barely not there. I don't think this was her fault at all this time at all. Um, at all, at all. But let's see. So, yeah, I, I don't think she could have really played that up a little bit uh, any more than she did. 
Uh, she played it pretty well. I guess she could have risked it a little bit more and went a little bit higher up on that play, but... Just great pressure by Splice here. I, I, Nose Dude got a few touches here. He, he's playing pretty dang good um, this series. Karma gets his a touch there. Um, Jay always gets, gets boomed. We're going to go to uh, Karma. See what she's doing. So it's a great touch there. Oh my. So the, yeah, this... I forgot all about this somehow. Um, obviously she knows she messed up here. This kind of costed them, honestly, the entire overtime. Which is really unfortunate. It, didn't, it really didn't cost them the game. It's not her fault they lost the entire game. Uh... There have been mistakes this entire game, so, you know, but it's, that's just an unfortunate mechanical error. You don't see that much in the pro league, uh, and I don't really know what Jay was can do from here. I don't, I don't think he was ready for something like this. Let's see it from his point of view. That's just, that's almost as costly as they get. I, he, maybe he could have played this a little bit better. But he plays it right there. He, I mean, he's behind the ball. There's no real way for him to realize this is going to happen. I mean. Yeah, that's just unfortunate. Jay was maybe could have made up for it there. Could have maybe made the stop. Overall, it's a pretty good game. Uh, the the actual series itself was amazing. Uh, I hope you guys you guys should all freaking be watching every single game of the RLCS NA and EU. I love watching them. They are always close games. Uh, for NA, it seemed like this this time around they were pretty much all close games. A lot of them went to best of five series. So I hope you guys kind of like this replay analysis of the Splice vs. Cloud9 gameplay of week one of RLCSNA. Um, I know we'll be doing probably a lot more of this. I know you guys voted for this specific um, match, or this series, rather. So I did go over game two of the match, and I hope you guys appreciate this. And if you guys like it, we'll be continuing to do this uh, on week two, week three, week four, etc., etc. So next week we'll be doing another pool on what games you guys want me to review. Uh, this week, like I said, I appreciate everyone's feedback, and I hope you guys liked the analysis of the Splice vs. Cloud9 gameplay.